Hello everyone. In this class, we will try to learn about acidification of urine. Acidification of urine. Kidneys plays an important role in maintenance of acid base balance by excreting H plus ion and retaining bicarbonate. pH of glomerular filtrate is around 7.4. It is same as that of plasma. Normally, urine is acidic in nature and with a pH of 4 to 4.5 to 6. Secretion of H plus ions. The cells of PCT thick ascending segment of uh, loop of Henle and uh, distal tube and collecting duct secrete H plus ions. The reaction that is responsible for H plus secretion in PCT thick ascending segment of ascending limb of loop of Henle and early distal tubule is sodium hydrogen exchange. When sodium is reabsorbed from tubular fluid into tubular cell, H plus is secreted from the cell into the tubular fluid in, in exchange for sodium. The H plus ion comes from the intracellular dissociation of bicarbonic acid and bicarbonate is formed uh, that diffuses into the interstitial fluid. Thus, for each H plus secreted, one sodium and one bicarbonate enter into the interstitial fluid. So this is the cellular mechanism showing secretion of uh, hydrogen ions into PCT thick ascending loop of Henle, DT and collecting duct. Where you can see the H plus ion is secreted with the antipode of one sodium. In the late uh, distal collecting tubules, H plus ion is secreted by an ATP driven proton pump mechanism. Secretion of H plus ion occurs in the special type of the cell called I cell of late distal tubules and collecting duct. It occurs in the luminal membrane of the tubular cell where H plus ion is transported directly as a specific protein, a hydrogen transporting ATPase. The I cells contain an ion exchange protein called as band 3 in their basolateral surface of cell, which helps in exchange of bicarbonate and chloride. Some hydrogen ions are also secreted by hydrogen potassium ATPs. This is the diagram showing the active pump, how it is going to secrete H plus ion into the tubular lumen. And these H plus ions, they are derived from the metabolism of carbonic acid. Then removal of H plus ions. The H, if H plus ions is secreted into, into the lumen, uh, when not removed in the time uh, acidity of the urine increases rapidly and attains limiting pH which inhibits further secretion of H plus ions by tubular cells. And this removal is done by three mechanisms. One is bicarbonate mechanism. The H plus secreted into the renal tubule combines with filtered uh, bicarbonate ion forming H2CO3 bicarbonic acid. The bicarbonic acid dissociates into carbon dioxide and water. The carbon dioxide diffuses into cell and it is used to form carbonic acid. Thus, for each mole of bicarbonate removed from tubular fluid, one mole of bicarbonate diffuses from the tubular cells into the blood. This mechanism particularly takes place in the proximal tubules since carbonic anhydride is present in the brush border of the cells. So, this diagram shows the reabsorption of bicarbonate ions uh, by secretion of hydrogen ions into the renal tubule. The hydrogen ions which are produced from the bicarbonic acid, they are secreted and they combine with bicarbonate which are uh, filtered in the lumen, they are going to form carbonic acid which in turn going to form carbon dioxide and water which are going to be reabsorbed. So thus with the uh, secretion of one uh, H plus ions, in the basolateral membrane, one bicarbonic, one bicarbonic uh, HCO3 ions is reabsorbed into the blood. Then phosphate mechanism. In the tubular cell, carbon dioxide combines with H2O to form H2CO3 that is carbonic acid. It immediately dissociates into H plus ions and bicarbonate. Bicarbonate uh, from the tubular cell enters into the interstitium. Simultaneously, sodium is reabsorbed. The H plus secreted into the tubular lumen reacts with the sodium hydrogen phosphate to form sodium dihydrogen phosphate. 
and sodium dihydrogen phosphate is excreted in urine. This happens mainly in the distal tubules and collecting duct. So this is how the H plus ion is produced from the bicarbonic acid which is going to uh, form a complex with sodium hydrogen phosphate and eventually it is going to form sodium dihydrogen phosphate which is eventually excreted in the urine. Thus the H plus ion is removed. Ammonia mechanism. In the tubular epithelial cells, NH3 is formed from glutamine. Glutamine is the first converted to glutamate by glutaminase. Glutamic dehydrogenase then catalyzes the conversion of glutamate into alpha ketoglutarate with the production of uh, NH3. The NH3 in the tubular cells is secreted uh, tub tubular lumen uh, in exchange for sodium ion. Here, it combines with uh, H plus ions to form ammonia and it is excreted. Here, it, here you can see the H plus ion again which is produced it, it is going to be excreted uh, into the lumen. So then it is going to form uh, a complex with uh, NH3 ammonia. Uh, then it is going to form NH4 so which is going to combine with anion and it gets uh, excreted in the urine. So thus it is going to remove one H plus ion. The factors affecting H plus secretion along with uh, bicarbonate reabsorption. Increase in the H plus secretion, increased uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide, increase the secretion of H plus ion and bicarbonate absorption. When there is uh, more PCO2, it results in acidosis. Hypokalemia. When potassium concentration is low, no competition with uh, sodium for the secretion. Then increased aldosterone and uh, adrenocorticosteroids act on the distal tubule. More sodium is reabsorbed and more hydrogen is secreted. And there is uh, more PCO2. It results in acidosis. Decrease H, H plus ion secretion occurs because of the decreased partial pressure of carbon dioxide, hyperkalemia, decreased aldosterone and by uh, carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. This is because uh, the bicarbonate is not formed at all. This is in brief about uh, acidification of urine. Thank you.